Kate Middleton has showcased her piano playing talents in public for the first time, in carol concert due to be broadcast from Westminster Abbey. The Duchess of Cambridge has left viewers speechless with her touching and mesmerizing piano performance at carol concert. The Duchess accompanied the Scottish singer-songwriter Tom Walker for a performance of his song For Those Who Can't Be Here. After the pair first met at a charity event in October and the Duchess was impressed by his talent. As always Kate Middleton's outfit for the occasion caught the attention of the public, and she dressed head to toe in festive red. The Duchess wore a stunning red coat dress with bow detail from Catherine Walker. Kate's dress was the same style as the black dress she wore for Prince Philip's funeral back in April. The Duchess also carried a red clutch bag and wore her hair in her signature blowout style. She kept her jewelry minimal for the outing, except for a pair of dazzling earrings. Kate wore the sapphire and diamond friend earrings from the Queen's personal collection, and the move can be seen as a touching tribute to her husband's grandmother. But Kate's choice of earrings also paid tribute to the late Queen Mother as the earrings once belonged to her. Kate has worn the beautiful Art Deco sparklers on a few previous occasions. The Duchess of Cambridge and Tom Walker performed a festive rendition of For Those Who Can't Be Here and stunned viewers listening to their performances. However, Tom admitted that he only had an hour of rehearsal with the Duchess and was worried about their performance. Tom described the Duchess as lovely, kind and warm-hearted and said she smashed her performance. Speaking about the experience of working with her, he said, it was truly an honor playing alongside the Duchess for royal carols, together at Christmas. Without doubt, it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I thought she absolutely smashed the performance, it's not easy to just jump behind a piano with a bunch of musicians you've never played, with before and record live takes to camera, but she completely nailed it. In the congregation tonight we've got many inspirational individuals, said the Duchess, who devised the night's service. We owe them a huge debt of gratitude for all they've done in bringing people together and supporting their communities. Tonight, we're going to hear so many wonderful carols. Music was so important to me during the pandemic as I think it was to so many people too. But above all it's about celebrating the goodwill, the acts of kindness, love, empathy, and compassion to help people come through these difficult times. Others noted how Kate seemingly channeled her late mother-in-law Princess Diana, who surprised onlookers in 1988 in Australia with her own piano performance. During Prince Charles and Princess Diana's visit to Melbourne on their 1988 royal tour of Australia, they visited Melbourne College of Arts. When there, the princess delighted well-wishers by playing part of Rachmaninoff's Piano Concerto No. 2, apparently without any sheet music. One fan noted of Duchess Kate and Princess Diana's performances, she is just like Princess Diana, she played the piano too, and quite well in fact. Another said, Princess Diana played the piano good too. How lovely the Duchess shares same gift. It's been wonderful seeing all her talents, from photography to beekeeping and now the piano. Meanwhile, viewers were full of praise for the Duchess of Cambridge following her performance, with one saying, such a beautiful and moving performance. Another said, this is absolutely gorgeous and Kate on the piano for Tom Walker? Absolute magic. A third added, oh my. Catherine is playing the piano. Even the cat froze, it just wasn't sure if it was safe to continue noisily attacking the tree. A fourth said, this song, and having Duchess Kate play the piano, was so touching for anyone who lost someone recently or not. The holidays always make you remember them. Thank you. The Duchess played piano as a child, before shifting her musical ambitions to the flute, and singing. Ahead of her wedding to Prince William in 2011. Her former teacher Daniel Nichols revealed that he taught the 88 keys to the wider Middleton family, too. Kate came for lessons when she was about 10 or 11, until she was 13, about 1993 to 95, he said. She was absolutely lovely, a really delightful person to teach the piano. I actually taught the whole family except Mike, Carol, Pippa and James, and again they were just absolutely lovely people, normal piano pupils. He added. I don't think anyone would say she was going to be a concert pianist, but she was good at it. She always did everything she was told. At secondary school, Kate reportedly played in a chamber orchestra and senior flute group, named the Tutti Fluties, alongside Pippa. Adding to her instrumental studies, Kate achieved grade 5 in singing and music theory. 
Friends have also said she was a deputy head chorister in the chapel choir. Thank you for watching videos. If you like our videos, please support growing channel by subscribe channel and like video hour. Your support is a motivation for us to produce better videos. If you have any requests for news, please comment below the videos for us. See you in the next videos.